Hello guys, uh, I'm just here to show you uh, a motor swap that I'm doing in a Yamaha VX. Uh, taking the motor from a Yamaha VX, this is the MR1 motor. Uh, the new Yamaha V1s have the TR1 three-cylinder motor. Uh, before they started making the new hole design in 2017, in uh, 2015 and 2016, they had the Yamaha V1. Uh, the first year they made it in 15, uh, it had uh, the MR1 motor, which you saw right there. Uh, this is actually a 2016 hull, and uh, it had the TR1 motor, the three-cylinder motor. Uh, I bought this hull off a guy that took the TR1 motor, the three-cylinder one, it's small enough to put into a stand-up, so he's making a stand-up race ski, and uh, I bought the hull from him, and uh, had this older ski that got hit really bad. I do rentals, and uh, this jet ski got hit really bad in the front, but the motor was good. This is people busted this up. I actually bought this from a guy that has another rental company. The ski was just sitting. It's got a couple hundred hours on it. Shitty ass paint job too, by the way. <laughs> I guess it was black at one time. Anyways, I just bought it for the motor. But uh, I pulled the motor out. And just casting too much of a shadow. Please excuse that. Uh, let's see what I can do. Yeah, so I pulled the motor out of that. I've got it hanging up here. And uh, I'm putting it into this hole. Uh, there's a few modifications I had to do. Uh, the motor mounts for the TR. I'm about to put it in and find out. This is the first uh, time I've gotten it ready to actually put it in. And uh, really all I had to do is that this motor mount hole is already drilled. I had to drill this one and put this one in. That one right there. Uh, and then this one over here. Uh, I had to pull the drive shaft. The drive shaft setup's different. On the TR1, they redesigned it. And uh, this is the one that it came with right here. The drive shaft pulls out with the pump. Pretty sure the reason they did that is because to get the drive shaft out on these, you actually have to slide the motor forward. It's kind of a pain to get to the drive shaft if you've bent it or having to pull the drive shaft for some reason. It comes out the other way with the TR1 motor. With the MR1, which is that, the Yamaha VX, it's a, the same motor that they use from like 2000. I think seven all the way up to 16 before they started doing the changeover for the TR1 motor. But uh, I had to pull the pump. I had to do the motor mounts. Uh, this wall, there's usually an ECM that uh, gets mounted. There's this one over here. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to uh, mount the ECM. It's got this metal bracket over here that the ECM mounts on. Since the one's cut away that's on the, the V1 hole, the 2016 one, it makes the motor easier to get in. But uh, I'm gonna have to either fabricate something and cut this off and make it an extension. If you look over on this side, you can see this is where the ECM mounts go. That's the through hole for the drive shaft. You can see on this one, it's different on the TR1 motor. Uh, the ECM is actually mounted on top of the motor, uh, which is a good idea because if it capsizes, it's uh, at the highest point. Uh, with these, there's that plate that's right here. So I'm just going to get it in there and make sure that it works before I get to doing that. Uh, I had to swap out the water box. Uh, I had to drill these holes to put in this bracket that mounts the uh, the main fuse panel and uh, the starter relay and uh, these water box brackets as well. And then uh, <laughs> to get this motor mount, I actually had to cut out the bottom of another hole. There's another guy that has a rental company that he was selling and he had a bunch of junk skis laying around. So I had to take that motor mount, put it in, take this one, put it in. And then uh, I got the drive shaft in right there with the coupler on it. So about to drop the motor in. And uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, I rent these things. And 
The guy sold me this hole for cheap, and then I got that motor out of that wreck ski for cheap. So, you know, it'll be a nice looking ski for, you know, basically almost half the price of retail, if not a little bit less. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated in the second video. Thank you.